Hi everyone, this is Anurag Gray from PestRoomVolWarrior.com and in this video I am going to talk about how small a hole can a mouse get through. Now before we continue this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you can receive updates about my videos and also help my channel grow. Now mouse are flexible creatures, they are small creatures as well as really flexible creatures and they can go through really small holes. Now this ability gives them the ability to survive in the wild because they can go through small holes and can build their nest and can hide over there even in those kind of places where all of the predators cannot get through. This ability is really important to mouse and this has helped them to survive and also has helped them to gather food. So that said, uh, there are a few reasons why mouse can do that and other creatures cannot. A mouse can actually go through small holes of a dime sized hole. It is said that a mouse can go through dime sized hole and go through that. They actually squeeze their body and can go through that small hole. They have flexible body and have flexible bones. So they squeeze it, they squeeze their body in a such a way that they can pass through that hole. Now a mouse may look bigger than a, that hole, a dime sized hole. But because of this ability to squeeze their body and uh, contract their body in such a way that allows them to go through that kind of holes. Now if you think that because you have a house where you have protected in a way uh, but there are few holes around your house, you have, even if you keep all your closed windows closed and your door closed and if your house has small holes over there, then a mouse can actually get through that and can get inside your house. Now, a mouse are really intelligent creatures, so they don't know where to go and how to go and they will plot a way from, from where they are going to enter and from where they are going to exit and how they are going to go travel inside your house to gather their food. So this thing is actually beneficial to the mouse but however this thing is actually not too beneficial for us. Because of this ability, uh, they can go through really small holes and it becomes really difficult to spot this kind of holes in our house because everyone has some kind of problem in their house. Uh, maybe the problem is in their basement, then maybe the problem is there somewhere in the house. So it's really hard to identify where the problem is and because of this problem, the mouse can get inside and can start the infestation. Even if you try all of, all of the remedies, all of the things, uh, if the small holes is not properly sealed, the mouse will get through. So because of that reason, uh, you have to first identify the holes and guess uh, the, it's really difficult to definitely say where the hole will be. So at least guess something because the only way to identify where the mouse is entering is by just by following them. So now if, when a mouse is actually chased or uh, when they feel panic, they will actually try to run out of the place. So they have escape route. Now if you just somehow manage, manage to follow them, the, you will be able to find from where they are entering and once you find that, seal that place and they won't be able to get in. And many people even consider that mouse can even go through needle sized holes. However, that is not true. They cannot squeeze their body that much, uh, but they can squeeze their body at least to the level of a dime. So if a mouse is, let's say, uh, a little bit, a few much bigger than the dime, they can actually squeeze it in a way that allows them to go through. Now, if as humans, we cannot even imagine of doing that, but a mouse can do that. And it has been experimented and documented many times on they have been done it. So it's a very common situation and small mouse are, have even upper benefit over here because they are small and they can squeeze through that kind of holes really easily. Bigger mouse can also do that but it is a little bit difficult for the bigger mouse because the size is the reason. The size can be a burden over here but for smaller mouse it's really easy and they can easily pass through any kind of holes and especially around that kind of size and can get through there. Now normally mouse are really careful while they are passing through the holes because uh, they know what from where they can go and where they cannot. But they also have limitation. It's not that they can go through any kind of holes, uh, any kind of small holes, but uh, they can go through in uh, most of most kind of small holes that are usually found around in everyone's house. So that's why they can enter almost any kind of house. But even with they even with this kind of ability, they are still careful because they can also get caught by mistake in kind of in a hole that is much smaller than they can actually squeeze into. So because of that, uh, they this usually occurs much uh, less compared to the uh, one that they go through because they have a proper uh, calculation of how to pass through the hole and they does it. But mistakes can occur and they can get caught. But if they get caught somehow because of a hole. Um, it can be really problematic for the mouse to come out from that place because uh, 
nobody is going to help that mouse and once they are trapped it can be really difficult so unless we intervene a human helps the mouse out it can be quite problematic for the mouse to come out of the hole now they can do it really fast now if a, if any predator is chasing them they can squeeze their body and get through the holes in really quickly and it can become really difficult for the predator to stop them and that's why mouse are really good in escaping predators especially the cats dogs because because of their size and because they can this ability to squeeze through different kind of small places gives them the ability to survive and makes the survivability uh, to increase the survivability to a great extent now snakes on the other hand can also pass through small holes and snakes can also squeeze their body a little bit but they don't really need to squeeze their body that much because they are slender and can pass through that kind of places so snakes are one of the uh, one of those uh, predators that can actually run after a mouse and can kill them but not all predators can do that even predators like cat cats are also seen to squeeze through small holes even though they cannot squeeze through a dime sized hole but they can squeeze through a really small holes compared to their body size but because they cannot squeeze through the dime sized holes rat has the upper benefit over here and they can easily pass through that kind of holes and can save themselves for cat if they can find those kind of places but snakes can actually even travel through that hole and can capture the mice so this ability is really important to mice however it really problematic to us but if you find those kind of holes in your house remember that because mouse can pass through those kind of holes we have to seal those places and do that immediately if your infestation is increasing and you will be good to go so that's it for this video i hope you find this video helpful and if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to click on the like comment and subscribe button i'm uploading two videos every single week there is on monday and friday so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell thank you